Hey guys, this is Mike Blotzenizer with Dad Life Fishing Adventures and Reese Life Dad Life, and today I want to share with you our tips on how to become a better smallmouth bass fisherman in small creeks. First off, you have to learn how to read a creek and find the right water body. You have to find a creek that attaches to a river or a, or a lake that is known for smallmouth bass. Secondly, you need to find a creek that has good water flow, clear water, good rocky habitat, and food present. It needs to have food for smallmouth bass. So you got to find a vantage point, like either find a bridge that crosses over the creek or a bank that you can get up close to and just stare into the water and look, are there minnows present? Are there crawdads present? Are there other fish species? And do you see a smallmouth bass? Even if it's a small smallmouth bass, you know that the species is present and bigger fish can be in the nicer pools on that creek. Secondly, how to fish the creek. The best way is to get into the water. You have to find wading shoes or shoes that um, you feel okay with getting wet. Um, either if it's warm out, put a pair of swim trunks on or get waders and you're gonna walk the creek you know, walk either upstream or downstream um, and just cover water, finding those holes where the fish are present. If you don't cover water and you just fish a small segment, you're just going to have a small snippet. Maybe you'll come upon one fish in an hour or two of fishing. But if you cover water, you're going to find more fish and you're going to find those special spots where the fish are big and those special holes where they're biting. Next, we're going to talk about the three ways that we like to fish small creeks. Number one, we like to use an eighth ounce jig and a, and a twister tail grub. And this is the best way to fish for all the sizes of fish in the creek. So the small, small ones and the big ones all together, the best all around bait for that skinny water fishing. Secondly, a creek sized wacky rig. And what I mean by creek size wacky rig is a normal size wacky rig bait that we tear in half, we put it on an eighth ounce jig, and that is what we use for our presentation. And the third, and our favorite way to catch the big fish, the big smallmouth bass in a small creek, is a whopper plopper. And not a small size whopper plopper, and not the big size, but the medium scale. And we love that loon color just because it is so different than the other things that a fish is gonna see in that water, in that creek. It's just gonna bring that exciting reaction bite that you're hoping for out of a whopper plopper. So with that, check this out as we show you and demonstrate how each one of these baits works in a small creek and we hope that it helps you in your fishing adventures here soon. Let's see you out on the water. We're gonna do something a little different. Instead of having the two, we're just gonna do one today. A little cut off the back one. Keep that one as a spare, so we'll start with white. The reason doing that is the water is so skinny. Help with not getting so hung up. Oh, fish on. Yes. <laughs> First fish. Not a big guy, but I think we got the species we were looking for, smallmouth. All right. First fish of the day. Smallmouth bass. Get a chunk on. Oh, there we go. Little guy. This bait does not help you sort out the littlest fish. <laughs> I'll tell you that. You'll get them all. Littles, the bigs, all. So I'm gonna start off by showing you the bait that we're using. Whopper, plopper, loon colored, medium size, not the smallest size they've got. We get into the fish that we think we're gonna catch here. We don't need the little bitty one. I'm not spooking these fish. Got him. Oh, yes. 
Got him. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. It's a really good one. Come on, fish. Oh, gosh, it's a big fish. Get out. No, you can't go over there. Come here. This is a really good fish. Just trying to keep it moving this way. Keep it moving this way. Come on, baby. No, don't go there. Oh yeah, nice fish. Oh. Creek bash continues. Thank you for watching this video. With that, let's go to a fishing joke of the day. What kind of music do you listen to when you go fishing? Hmm? Something catchy. Yeah! That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel, like this video, and leave us a comment below. And we hope to see you out on the water next time. Keep doing your thing, and boom!